not gonna lie, not gonna lie, not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna get my pants on both of them because they're just amazing. So as of today marks 11 months that I've posted the video that you guys saw in the beginning in the intro. And I have to say, holy cow. See, my thinking process behind making that video was that I was laying in bed, it was 1 a.m. and then all of a sudden, I saw a notification that Rode launches this whole new line of streaming equipment and even content creation at that. And it was such a good like video idea that I thought, why not beat people to the punch? Came over here to the studio, hit record, and then I made the video. Looking back at the video, I had no idea that that specific video was going to be you know, well received from you guys and that honestly blew my mind and to this day is the most viewed video on this channel so way to go. In the video I did say I was going to get my hands on the Roadcaster Duo as well as the Streamer X. However though, I waited too long which ended up being a good thing. See the longer I waited towards the end of last year, I then got my hands on something even better and that is what we are going to be talking about in today's video. You guys probably seen it on my YouTube shorts and TikTok. Without further ado, let's get started with today's video and that is the Road Create White Bundle. Let's get to it. Before I commence with today's video, i like to also give you guys a disclaimer real quick that you don't need this, all right? You don't necessarily need to spend this amount on this bundle. Now, at the time of when I purchased it, it was roughly around 800, it was like 700 something with tax, it was like $800. Now it is now up to $900. So it is quite a hefty buy, but with everything that it comes with, it is phenomenal. I'm not gonna go way too in depth with everything that the product comes with. I'm gonna kind of give a brief summary of everything that it comes with. And at the end of the video, I will be giving you guys my personal opinions and whether or not I recommend it to anybody and who do I recommend this to. So let's get started. Starting off with the headphones, the headphones is the Rode NHT 100s. Now these headphones are quite amazing. Not only are these headphones been a complete game changer for me, but prior to these headphones, I was rocking the HyperX Cloud 2 for my gaming and video editing and a little bit of headphone monitor or microphone monitoring. I also had a pair of AKG Studio X240 headphones, which allowed me to monitor my audio when I'm recording like vocals or just recording my myself, honestly. And however, I preferred the HyperX Cloud 2 because it was noise canceling. One of the benefits about the Rode NHT 100 is that unlike the HyperX Cloud where you have to constantly adjust it every time you you know, wear it or put it away. The NHT 100 actually allows you to lock it in place, meaning you don't have to adjust it every time you take off your headphones or put it back on. It's in the same spot as you had it a few hours ago. And speaking of hours, it is amazing to be using these headphones for a long period of use. Meaning if you're a streamer, a content creator, a gamer even, and you are utilizing these headphones, these headphones are so comfortable that, at least for me, these headphones are so comfortable that I've gone almost an entire day, not only working on my homework, but drawing, video games, you name it. It, I did not get tired of having these headphones. At times, it doesn't even feel like you have headphones and it's just amazing. Next up is the infamous Rode Pod Mic. Now the Rode Pod Mic is a $99 dynamic microphone. Now this microphone I absolutely love since I first got it and it has been a huge game changer and a huge leap from my audio setup. Cause back then I started off with the blue Snowball Ice, then a blue Snowball, and then a blue Yeti Pro, and then the Shure MV7X to finally settling with the Rode Pod Mic. Now, the difference, honestly, with these two microphones, with the original microphone for the Pod Mic and the white version, is that the white version is just white. There's not that much difference between the microphones itself. All in all, whenever it comes to recommendations of which microphone to recommend to up and coming creators or up and coming streamers, I would always recommend the Rode Pod Mic. And now if you're going for a white aesthetic build for your setup, you can purchase the microphone by itself for $99 and it's amazing. Go get it. Now this is actually a first for me. So the Rode PSA One Plus is honestly, in my opinion, the best microphone arm that you can possibly get. And it is the predecessor of the Rode PSA One. Now the PSA One had a fair amount of issues. One being that the 
connector adapter where you connect the microphone to the stand honestly was too short meaning whenever someone for example connected the Shure SM7B it will cause the cable to kind of like bend a little bit and it did cause a little bit of problem but Rode solved that problem by introducing the little uh, Rode PSA1 extender pole I think that's what it's called and you connect that to the mic arm then you connect that to the microphone and it serves to have a little bit more leniency when it comes to the XLR cable. Now for the PSA1 Plus, they solved that issue by extending it just by a hair, just by extending it, allowing the cable not to bend while connecting to the microphone. So that was a huge plus. So now instead of wanting to get the PSA1, you can still keep your PSA uh, microphone arm and it just get the extender for your microphone and quit complaining. Now the Rode PSA1 Plus white version is good. I do prefer it over the regular black uh, Rode PSA1 Plus, but however, I wish the writing or the logo of Rode was a little bit more noticeable. I don't know, I like to have, you know, companies logos on my products that if I'm gonna be having it on camera, I like for them to know what kind of, you know, company or brand I am using their products of because as a creator and as a streamer I like to invest and do research on certain things which is why I have the things that I have so all in all I I really love the mic arm now it's time to get down to the nitty-gritty and the powerhouse of this whole entire bundle and that is the Rodecaster duo now since that video I made 11 months ago I've been wanting to get my hands on the Rodecaster duo the only issue was that it was four hundred ninety nine dollars and that is a lot now considering that the Rodecaster and the Rodecaster Pro 2 were kind of expensive as well going from 500 to 600 dollars it was kind of a lot of money to invest in something like this now i will say i was intimidated at first when i had this on my desk and it was kind of it, it was a lot of information that was being thrown at me on how to set up the presets how to set up the game literally the only way to, around this is either by going blind and clicking on different settings and finding what best suits you and your microphone or by looking up a bunch of videos on YouTube on how to set up your audio, set up your mixer, set up your uh, routing and all this. It, t it takes a while for you to understand and somewhat learn how to use it, but once you achieve it, you're all set. Now, for my final thoughts is one is a price. Yes, I know it's 800 to 900 dollars depending on if it's on sale or not, but honestly for the amount of items that you are getting, you're getting yourself the headphones, the microphone, mic arm, not only you're getting the audio interface, but you're also getting the XLR cable adapter and that's all in one box bundle. And so, yes, it's understandable. I even went on the website and individually added up the price without taxes and it comes up maybe a little bit over the original amount. So you're saving like probably like a hundred bucks at most saving on this bundle. Now they do have a secondary bundle, The they call it the podcast bundle, which comes with the Rodecaster Duo, two Rode Pod mics, two Rode um, uh, PSA One Plus, as well as two cables and two headphones for the bundle. So it's a thousand something dollars for that. So you're getting more if you got this. And if you are trying to get a podcast going with the white theme, you might as well just buy the microphone and the mic arm and headphones separately at that point. So for the headphones, I will say there's nothing to hate about these headphones. These headphones, honestly, in my opinion, I fall in love with them. Uh, they're my go-to headphones and like I can't go back to the HyperX. There are times where I do go back to it just when I'm playing games like Fortnite or something. But even then, the NHT 100s are a lot better than the HyperX Cloud 2 but that's just personal preference. So for the Rode Pod mic, I would say it is honestly my number one top pick for a budget microphone because everyone nowadays, they're trying to follow a trend. You see a bunch of creators, a bunch of streamers having the SM7B or the Electa Voice RE20. So all these expensive microphones, and yes, they look aesthetically pleasing on stream, but if it's not in your budget, it is not in your budget, which is why I recommend if you want the SM7B, but you don't want to spend the $400 on it, might as well get the Shure MV7 or the MV7X. Both sound amazing. One just being a USB compared to the other one that is strictly XLR and getting yourselves the Rode Pod mic. Now the Rode Pod mic, there's 
just a little bit of tweaks that you got to work on, which is com noise compression and then maybe a little bit of EQ and a little bit of gain. And then you got yourself amazing audio. Now for the Rode PSA-1, I did have a slight issue with it and that was just by having the Elgato low profile arm for the longest where I didn't have to see my XLR cable. Now having been forced to see my XLR cable, I hate how I had it off to the side. If you watch some of my streams, you'll see what I'm talking about. I will have it, you know, channeling on the side of the Rode PSA-1, connecting it to the pod mic. Now, I did find a solution to this and I forgot about it until I remembered and I looked it up. I'll be linking a video on where I got it from. I'm not gonna be taking the full credit, but Edgar from over at TechSource made a video of him adding these bundle or adding this specific bundle to his setup and he said the same thing. He doesn't want the cable running on the side. So he unscrewed the adjusters on the PSA One Plus and then it gives you just enough room for you to open it up for you to feed the cable through reattach the adjusters and then connect the microphone and voila now you got the cable running through the mic arm instead of on the side of it as for the roadcaster duo it is a powerhouse there's a lot of cool things that i still haven't fully unlocked so there's custom presets on you know voice changers you got the megaphones you got the monster you got the deep voice, the high pitch voice, even the robots. And then you also got sound effects like the rim shots from the drums, you got chimes, and then you got like the sensor button. You know, all these sound effects and everything that, if you don't like them, you can actually customize it to something else that you prefer and it honestly is amazing. And on top of that, you're able to separate your audio tracks on the Rodecaster Duo itself, meaning you can have the first track, your audio, second, your Discord, third your browser, fourth your music or whatever you want and then you double check it on your computer system to ensure that it's going or is feeding to the correct channels and then once you adjust the audio levels on each individual track you can then connect all of it together into OBS so you only have one audio track and you don't have multiple audio tracks that you have to focus on OBS so I think that was actually pretty cool. But is it worth the eight to nine hundred dollars? Absolutely. Will I recommend it to anybody? No, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. I got it because I wanted to invest a little bit more into my setup and to the future of my setup and my streaming uh, passion, hobby, I, whatever you want to call it. But I will recommend this to people who are already like, you know, where is they're in the position of content creation and in the position of streaming where they can, you know, spend a little extra money on their hardware when it comes to audio. That way they can you know, make that money back because, you know, I spent my hard earned money on this whole bundle. So I'm not getting that back until, you know, two or three more paychecks. Like if you're in the position where you can actually buy the setup and then reinvest it into your, you know, your channel, your, you know, your stream or anything, reinvesting it back and then making the profit back into what you spent on the bundle, then I would say go for it. But if you're just starting now, like let's say you're 15 years old to 18 years old, because that's typically around the age where you're able to stream, you're able to upload videos on YouTube. So if you're around that age group and you see a lot of people with this setup and you go ahead and buy it you know, out of impulse or whatever, and I would say at that point, you don't need to upgrade any you know, any audio hardware because at that point, you're, you're set. You don't need to replace it for like years from now. And then the cool thing about the Rodecaster Duo is that it also has a bunch of presets for like the SM7B, the RE20, and if you don't see your preset for your microphone, you can always you know add a dynamic or a condenser microphone and then apply the 48 volts of phantom power if it's a condenser, and then it allows you to add you know, 100% clean gain. So that's another plus for the Roadcaster Duo. So what do you guys think? Do you think I made a good decision on purchasing this? And if so, let me know in the comment section below which part of the bundle you absolutely love to see or are excited that they release. So feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And as always, take it easy, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.